Hi everyone, as you can see I'm trying something slightly different here today. I'm using my tiny office space here at home in order to film this video and I'm having to use a very wide angle lens. As you can see I can almost reach it with my hands and I'm having to do that in order to fit in everything I need to into the shot. So let's get to the subject of this review. I'm gonna pull back a little bit to reveal it but you probably know it from the title anyway. It's the Sonwell FB21 100 watt bicolor 2x1 flexible LED panel. If you have watched my Falcon Eyes review that I've done some time ago, you'll probably know how much I love flexible LED lights. In fact, I'm using my Falcon Eyes for this review in a very peculiar way. I'm actually gonna film it for you. You can see how it's actually hanging there from the curtain railing. And the way I shaped it, it wraps the light around the whole room. Which is great because there's no way I could fit in a large LED light or softbox in this space. There's really no space here whatsoever. But with flexible LEDs, I can do exactly that. I can put them onto the railing, onto a wall, ceiling, any way I want. And this is why I love flexible LED lights. So when Sunwell contacted me to see if I wanted to check out their version of a flexible LED light, I of course said yes. But before I get into the actual review of this light, I just wanted to clarify that even though this light was sent to me free of charge, all the thoughts in this review are 100% mine. So with this out of the way, let's get into the actual review. So this fairly large 2x1 panel fits into a fairly small bag that has a lot more inside it. So let me show you what's inside this bag very quickly before we get into the more important stuff. Inside the bag you'll find the actual light, X-frame, control unit, DC power unit with mains cable, soft box with diffusion material, light stand adapter, various velcro strips and the antenna for the wireless control functionality. While you were watching that part I've set up the light and you can probably tell that this light is extremely similar to the Falcon Eyes light that I've reviewed before. It's just a bit smaller and cheaper. But instead of this being a some sort of complete knockoff, Sunwell actually went in and improved a bunch of things on the slide, which we will go into right now. The Falcon Eyes back is the size of a large tripod, while Sunwell is just one third of that and is no bigger than a small backpack. To achieve such compact size, they had to do some clever designing, which included halving the size of the folded X bracket, as well as the softbox. The Sunwell also has the reinforced corners and useful straps for rigging. The power cable is also properly protected and positioned more logically. Lastly, the strap on the control unit is metal unlike the one on the Falcon Eyes, so should last much longer. While we're on the subject of the remote, this is where you control all the settings of the light. So if I switch it on and put it on to just 1%, as you can see, this amount of light is already too bright for this particular setup where I'm so close to the light and it actually being quite a large light source. If I have it in this vertical position, it's actually as big as my uh, Falcon Eyes, it's just a narrower source. To show you the full power of this light, I have to turn away from me because it's already too bright. And from here, I can try to go to the other way, which is all the way to 100. This being the Bacal light, we of course have the individual tungsten and daylight LEDs in there. And when they are all working together in between full tungsten or full daylight settings, it looks fine and it more or less creates a single light source. Although when you look at it, it is quite intense on your eyes. But if I go to full daylight, for example, using the display, which you can also use to adjust uh, the settings, not just the knobs on the side. So if I go up to full daylight, then only half of the LEDs are on and they are quite spaced out at this point, which can create multiple shadow problem, which I've demonstrated before with my other reviews. But this is where the softbox comes in. Now that I have a softbox on the slide, as you can see, it becomes a single light source, which takes care of those multi-shadow problems, but more importantly, it becomes a large light source. And if you know anything about the lights, large light source means softer lights. It's not just about the 
uh, diffusion panel. In fact, it's much more about the size. So this is how I always use this light because I like softer light. Also, with the softbox, you don't have those individual strong LED bulbs shining into your talent slide. It's much nicer, softer uh, thing to look at. In this vertical position, the light is great when you are lighting someone from head to toe. And if you want to light someone uh, in a similar style that I have right now, mid uh, short or head and shoulders, then you can swing it around and then you have a much wider light source that will wrap around subject's face much more. I really like how position of this light can actually work in your advantage and how versatile it can be, especially considering how small it becomes when folded down. It can be taken anywhere and once you're on location, you can then once again create this large light source. All of this is great, but now we're moving on to the most important part, the color reproduction. This light has CRI value of 95 to 98, which is a great value, but a lot of lights now have similar values. And instead, I want to see the real life color reproductions to actually tell if this is any good. So for that, I've compared to some of my favorite lights, including my Falcon eyes, so we can see if this light produces great, accurate colors. First is the daylight test and for this one I've compared the Sunwell against the Falcon Eyes and a brilliant Aperture 300D coupled with a softbox. As you can see all of them are surprisingly similar which is especially evident in this side by side comparison. For the second test I've switched the camera and the lights to the Tungsten 3200K setting and here I've swapped out the Aperture 300D for the 120T model. And as you can see, the colors are quite different in this one. Which one do you like more? Leave a reply in the comments. Hopefully that little comparison was useful to you guys. I'm not gonna pick my own winner because I made the test for you so you can make up your own minds about how these slides compare. But in my honest opinion, this light is absolutely amazing. There are so many little improvements in this light over the Falcon Eyes, which is already the light that I love and use all the time. But this is even better, just a bit smaller and cheaper, which is not a bad thing in many situations because it's much more portable. I can take it on any shoot. I can carry it easily on public transport. I don't have to carry that large, large bag that wouldn't even fit in this setup. If there was one thing I still didn't like about this light, because I have to say something bad, I always try to, but it's not always possible, is this thing. If I want to point this light down, I can't point it down any more than this. As you probably do, I do as well. Sometimes I have my stand high up and I want the light to point down and it's not possible with uh, the way this part has been designed. I can point it up as much as I want, but there is only so much movement on the way down. This pretty much concludes the review. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to check out the actual light yourself, then I left some links in the description. Those will be affiliated. So if you buy the light, I will get a small commission at no additional cost to you this way you can support the channel without spending a penny and all your support is greatly appreciated. Another way to support the channel is to subscribe. So make sure to do that and press the notification bell as well to make sure that you don't miss future videos and I will see you in one of them.